So this video is about the Canon P and it's a special camera for me because I picked it up in Japan and I picked it up specifically in Osaka at this cabin store. And a cabin store is a lot like a thrift store in Japan. These are kind of hard to find, run by. So I found it in the basement of this building, kind of near this building. So this is the sky tower. It's about a 20 minute walk from there. And I went there and there's a big cabinet with all these um, cameras and I was looking for something under $50. And when I saw the Canon P in there, I picked it up and I immediately knew I wanted it and actually went home to my hotel and then came back to buy it. And I bought it for like $26 and it was a steal at the time. But it's a camera that right when I picked it up, I knew it was special and I knew it was really important. And then it felt just right. The build quality was amazing. The way it felt in your hand was amazing. And for Canon, is actually a really special camera too. Canon up until this point, 1959, when this camera was released, was kind of making just like a knockoffs. And this camera, that's a hot shoe right there. This camera is the first time they really imprinted Canon on their thing. And they really stepped away from that. So this is kind of like one of the first real Canon cameras up until this point. They were like a lot of companies in making copies of Leicas. Here's the viewfinder. And it's a viewfinder coupled with a rangefinder. So pretty simple, very bright and very clean. The lens I'm using is a Jupiter 50 um, F2. It's a Leica knockoff. I can't afford a real Leica or a real Canon RF lens, so um, this is the best thing I could do. And it was pretty. it's a pretty good lens. On the top, you're going to see the shutter advance right there. This is actually a lock thing, so A is to shoot. And then when you go to the other side, it's to um, set it for a rewind. Here's the shutter advance. That's the shutter button. That's shutter speeds. And this is the rewind lever. So the rewind lever, if you look at this camera, a lot of the lines look similar to a Leica M3, which it's trying to copy to some, to some degree, but it actually takes a lot of cues on its own and it moves in its own way. So this rewind lever is a specific Canon thing. It isn't found in any other cameras. On the bottom of the camera, you're going to see something that looks very similar to like M3, this, um, the film opening. And so you open it like the latch like that, and then you pull, and it would release the back. Then you simply put your film in, pull up the rewind spool, or the rewind lever, and then put your film into the right. So this one, I would be a little bit... Um, a little bit pretty careful about it. When I did it in real life, I actually had some issues where my phone wasn't totally advancing. So when you load your phone with the Canon P, um, make sure that you just maybe load an extra, uh, an extra shot. So if you, I usually load just one shot and usually advance just one shot, but I would advance one or two just to make sure you're getting it all the way through. So it can be a little bit tricky, but once it starts going, there's really no issue, but I would maybe advance it maybe one more than you're comfortable with. So when you're done shooting, you're just going to use the rewind lever like that, turning it clockwise, and then opening the hatch on the bottom, and then opening the back of the camera. So I'm going to show some of my photography I've done um, in the winter when I went to Mexico. And usually I don't show stuff with um, interchangeable lenses, but this is a special case. And, um, the, and the reason for that is someone will just say it's the lens that's taking it. But this one with the Canon P and with the Jupiter lens, I got some really great shots. I'm trying to learn how to develop black and white film. So this is shooting with um, Ilford 400 film, HP4, I believe. And the shots I got were pretty great. And I think the lens is very contrasty and very sharp. And the Jupiter lens, I've, I've heard those rumors and I think they live up to it. It's a really great lens if you can't afford a Leica and you can't afford a Canon rangefinder lens. But really great lens. And I had a lot of fun shooting with it. And so this is one of my favorite cameras in the last four or five years I picked up. One of the reasons is because it's a cool story of where I picked it up and how I came to got it. But another one is just it's so well built. There's nothing extra like a meter in there that can get in the way. And there's not much that can go wrong with it. And that's why I really like it. It makes shooting a little bit easier and it makes shooting pretty fun. And on top of that, it's really gorgeous and really well built. When you look at the Leica M3, I think this is up there in terms of, um, in terms of challenging it and on the same level. It's not going to ever be better than the M3, one of the best cameras of all time. But for me, it's really good. And, it, and for me, it's, um, it shows how Canon was evolving and how Canon was really taking in, uh, steps to competing and eventually overtaking Leica. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy my channel. If you like this video, remember to like this video and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.